investigate a reported disturbance at Acer Plaza? 10-4 dispatcher, verify address. That's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress at Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. Gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. The pills would ease the pain. Wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this? He and Mitch are having too much fun. What the? first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Painted a max. You're killing me. Did you make that up yourselves or you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it? Games, Brains are Bang Life, and we're flashing back to the moody motherfucker himself, the noir god that is Max Payne, originally released on the PC. Third person shooter video game developed by Remedy, published by Gathering of Developers in July 2001 for Microsoft Windows. Ports were later created in the year for the PS2, Xbox, and Game Boy Advance, if you can believe that. Uh, published by Rockstar Games. Uh, PlayStation 2 is where I first played this. A Mac OS port was published on the 6th of July 2002. Uh, there were plans for a Dreamcast version, but were cancelled when the console was discontinued, oh, which you can't, you, you can understand. Uh, the game was re-released on the 27th of April 2009 as a downloadable game in the Xbox Originals program for the Xbox 360. It was also re-released in 2012 as a downloadable game in the PlayStation Store for PlayStation 3 uh, on iOS, Android in April 2016 for the PlayStation 4 as well. Yeah, I played this on. Have you played this on mobile? No, no, I, I, I didn't even know that. It actually. does exist, wow. uh, but I don't know if it'd work with modern phones. So I don't think the app's been updated mm. um, for a while. The game centers on a former New York Police Department police detective, Max Payne, who attempts to solve the mysterious murders of his wife and daughter in connection to the drug trafficking case involving a designer drug named Valkar, Valkyr Valkar, and while doing so, is entangled in a larger, complex conspiracy involving the U.S. military. 
It features a gritty neo-noir style and uses graphic novel panels with voiceovers in place of animated cutscenes to interact the game. As it draws inspiration from hardboiled detective novels uh, by authors like Mickey Spillane. The game contains many allusions to North mythology, particularly the myth of Ragnarok. And several of the names used in the game are those of the Norse gods and mythos. Yeah. I love this game. And in fact, I love the series. Have you played the complete series? One, two, and three. You played all of the three as well? I loved them all, yeah. Favourite? I'm going to say number three only because of the fact that we, we, we had a lot of fun playing Des Moines play games. We did. You know, you know, online. But other than multiplayer, for me, number one is fantastic. You know, I thought it was. I I, 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 I got a load for this game. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I agree. I can't really dif- decide between any of them. I remember when I first played Max Payne 2, I was initially put off by the clear character design change. Yeah. Uh, but you quickly forgave that. Mm-hmm. And uh, I understand why a lot of people may not love Max Payne 3 because it's a little harsh in the story and you kind of just want good shit for Max and stuff like that. But Max Payne... I love Max Payne 3. I love Max Payne 3. Yep, yep. Give me give me skinhead shooting up favelas <laughs> in Brazil pissed off with the world Max Payne. He is our video game John McClane. <laughs> exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. So things we like, things we don't like and favourite moments, scenes, bits of music of the first game alone. Let's start with one we obviously both have. This was my first experience of the important gameplay mechanic that Max Payne popularized, popularized, and that is bullet time. Nothing will ever be as cool as diving across the room in slow motion with two guns shooting enemies. Fucking love it. Badass. I, I, I actually didn't have that one. Really? No, no, so, so I, I, I went for more... Probably, I say more obvious ones, but obviously Bullet Time was fantastic. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. Especially with a shotgun. I'm watching the bag up just literally fly away. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. it sort of speeds back up. Yeah, love Bullet Time. So much fun. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I, you probably have some, but the, di- the dialogue, I think the dialogue was fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, brilliant. It was, you know, it, it, I mean, for, for a PlayStation 2, which is, I mean, I suppose it's like 25 years old now, probably a lot older than that. I mean, Oh, it's not that old, is it? No, no, no. Yeah. Well, I mean, but I mean, for the, for, it was so advanced. I think. I think it, that, it's around twenty years old. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think the the dialogue was clever. The voice acting was really good too. Max Payne. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I mean that ties into my sort of one, which is the noir visuals. I love how dark and gritty the game looks. Very, very dirty. Very grim. But also that noir story. It's very, um, very twisted. Mm-hmm. You know, very interesting. It's got some weird shit going on. Yeah. Any more? Oh, well, I mean, the obvious the story. Yep, the story yep. Is so, so fantastic. I, I mean, could you imagine if, 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 I mean, especially like the, the opening little scenes where you get back into your apartment and you can hear your wife and daughter getting murdered. Mm-hmm. It's just so, so, if you're a kid, that's so dark. You know, I mean, it's, well, obviously, it's, it's obviously Rockstar too, you know, so they don't grab for don't they? Of course. Yeah, so, but uh, it's clever, it's funny. Well, 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 well it's, it's got some, I mean, Maxine's dialogues are, are, are funny too. We're, yeah, yeah, he's got, he's got a sick sense of humour. Yeah, and it just explains why he's a bit, uh, he's a bit messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really does. Yeah. Um, I'll tie into that is, uh, my, this was, I believe Max Payne <coughs> was my first real proper experience with such an adult themed story, right? That felt real. Yeah. That's the important distinction here. Played out themed stories all the time, you know, things like Metal Gear Solid and all that back in the PlayStation era. But still, that never felt real because how could it when you've got fucking floating gas masks wearing people talking about reading your mind there's yeah. nothing real about that Max Payne though did it really did because it talks about drug addiction alcoholism murder mm-hmm. ritualistic murder cults gangs stuff like that government government corruption that's pretty heavy stuff yeah I mean, yeah? I, mean I don't know it's probably one of my, one of my <laughs> fun little bits in the, in, the, in, the, in the game especially in the Thursday where, where you find all the, the druggies lying on the floor and they're, they're desperate for their, their, their fix just pick up a Molotov it's like throw out top of them. <laughs> it's quite 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 entertaining. All right, okay. <laughs> um, and of course, you know the, the music. The music is so dark. You know, it's just like it's just like a little, a little beep. You know, a little beep in mm-hmm. tune. But it fits in perfectly with the storyline yeah. of the obviously you know his wife's murder and his child's murder and just the whole darkness of the. Y- he's the got. Scenes. You can kind of understand. One of the things about Max Payne is he's relatable to a degree. You can completely understand why he's got such a chip on his shoulder. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Any more? Um, well, so, I mean, well, again, going, going into more detail, well, obviously with Max again. Obviously, you got, you got. Few, other than obviously his wife and child, then you, you got to feel sorry for him because there's again in the first level, his one of his, I say, his friends gets killed straight away. Yeah. You know, uh, Alex. I think his name is Alex. Yeah, he's, he's a you know, partner or something. Yeah. You're, you're talking to him to the bloody through the defense and he gets shot in the head. Mm. You know, it's like seriously. 
Yeah. <laughs> any more bad stuff that happened to this guy? Yeah. Oh, three more games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not like it gets any better for him. <laughs> that it? Yeah, I see it. All right, things we don't like then. Right, I'll get us started here. And uh, one of the reasons why I've grown to enjoy the character design of Max Payne 2, and obviously that would lead to Max Payne 3, is because go back and look at the character design of Max Payne in the first. He's skinny, but also he looks like Johnny Knoxville from Jackass. You know Johnny Knoxville? Yep. Um, from Jackass. Tell me once you see it, you cannot unsee it. And I so much prefer a bit more older, grizzled vari- variation that you get in number two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the obvious one, cameras. The cameras were so difficult, so hard to control. You know what I mean? There's times when you're facing the wall and especially, especially, uh, I mean, obviously, it's obviously, it's... Like the, the tight subway sections. Yeah, I mean, like, you're, you're, you're against the wall and, like, you... you I, I, obviously, obviously, you're, you're trying to swing the camera around to see if it's on the wall, but you can't. You can't do it. The, it's like, the, it's like the, again, the, the camera is like st- stuck, stuck behind your back. Mm. Yeah, and, but yeah. Okay, I, I don't really have an issue with the camera. I don't remember having an issue with it. But what I did have an issue was was the worst part of the game's gameplay segments, and that are the blood trail dream sequences. snoring next to Lupino's corpse. A comedian. The pictures were filled with good old times. Captain Baseball Batman is my favorite.
No. No, no, please, God, no. Um, what started off initially, there are too many for starters, but what started off as initially, all right, it's gothic dream, it's evil, he's following blood trails till he gets to um, his child's bedroom and he, you know, it's too late again, that kind of thing. They get really complex as you go on in the game, including ones with dead ends. And here's where the real problem lies. You have to follow and stay on those trails because if you, f you can fall off them and then into darkness and then you have to start them again. And that over and over and over. And then later on, you got the bits. We have to jump over gaps. Don't like them. They're the worst part of the game. Yeah. Um, I was going to put that in my likes, to, to, to be fair. But, but, then, but then I remember how, how much of a pain it Infuriating, was. Infuriating, yeah. Yeah, I mean, literally, you have to be on the exact line, uh, finding the right way. Uh, I mean, and uh, every time he died, you, 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 your baby screaming. I, I know it was quite eerie, it was. Like it's First time, maybe. Yeah, but after, tenth time, no. Yeah, after like I like, said, the, the, the tenth time I'm falling off, yeah, it does get quite frustrating. Yeah. Um, I've got the controls. Yeah. You know, I find the controls very difficult sometimes, especially in fuller time. I know it was fun, but if you if you say dive the wrong way and you hit the wall, you're literally you, 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 your legs are upside down. You're, you're falling through the wall. Obviously, it's the, the back. That's right. your fault for jumping into the fucking yeah, wall. I, I, I know, <laughs> but it's just like I mean, I, 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 I've done it a few times just for a laugh, like testing different things. You know, like. Uh, drove into a, dumped into, into a mirror or on one of the vibrating sex beds in the, in the hotel. You know, <laughs> okay, <literally>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just fun times. Any more? Uh, that's about it, actually. Well, mine's simply um, the mobile game. Now, it's fine if you want to play Max Payne on mobile, but ask yourself this question. Why would you want to? It's a mobile game. So picture the amount. This is the problem with a mobile game. Think about all the things you have to do in that game. And your screen is filled up. And imagine how difficult it is to control a camera while moving through bullet time and that. I tried to play that game. I wanted to do it and wanted to capture the footage and then put it up on a YouTube channel and all that. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I was like, this is this is mm. a nightmare to play. I'm not enjoying this. It's one of those where it's like, well, get control and hook it up to it and all that. It's like, but then just play the fucking game another way then if that's the case. The mobile game, it's one of those where it's like, you could, yeah, you could, they could do it, but they, didn't, they shouldn't have. Because I don't think it actually adds helps the game overall. Yeah, I mean, when you mentioned about the mobile, I, I would, my, the first one first away was how. Yeah, how? 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 I mean, I, I can't imagine how you could control it. I mean, just... well, it's, it's your screen's half filled with buttons. That's the problem. Yeah. Where it's like this, and they try and simplify, it, of course, but it still doesn't make it much fun. No. Yeah. Okay, favorite moment scenes, bits of music. Uh, I'll get started with simple. The relief you feel any time you get to the end of the blood troll sections. And you're just like, oh, thank God, there's the room. I don't care that my baby's dead. I can't wait to see that bloody sheet. I can't wait. Just because I'm out. Yeah. Well, mine's actually the, the, the same thing, but in, in, a, in a more positive light. Okay. Yeah, although, although I, I mentioned the negatives, but it's a, it's, it's a, a scene which, when, whenever you talk about Max, anyone talks about it, they always bring up that scene. So obviously it left a mark. Maybe a bad mark, but... It's so, so that, that that will always be remembered in years to come. The bloody blood trolls. Yeah, yeah. So. I, I I guess you yeah. no, that's a fair point. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's simple. This um, it, as we kind of said at the start when we talked about bullet time, it will never not be fun diving through that door f in bullet time and just taking down a room full of enemies. Mm -hmm. Like when you perfect it and you're not just hitting the fucking desk and flying upside down while they're <laughs> gunning you down, <laughs> but when you do a really good sexy one and you're diving, you know, across. You know, I used to love, this isn't Max Payne, this is Max Payne 3, but like when you do something stupid like dive off a top balcony, even though you know you're going to fucking die, <laughs> yeah. and shooting all the way down, stuff like that from Max Payne, the original as well. This thing of the subway sections and diving off the fucking goddamn railway tracks and just boom, boom, boom. It's, it's generally brilliant. Yeah. yeah. I don't think there's been a game that's done it better. No. You know? No, no way. Any more? No, that's it. That's it. The great game that is Max Payne. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on GBHBell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?